Now, four out of every five Kenyan CEOs plan to establish data hubs in their organizations within the next one year to automate decision making. A survey involving more than 50 CEOs done by Zitova shows that organizations plan to upgrade their IT departments to include data scientists who use artificial intelligence tools to streamline their supply systems. According to the survey, 80% of the CEOs have implemented digital solutions within the last year, with a view to shifting from legacy IT departments to modern data hubs that support more precise decision-making. Zitova CEO Bramwell Mwalo noted that Kenya's tech system has already started making data-driven decision-making and artificial intelligence not only the cornerstone of its digital transformation, but also a critical tool in improving product and service quality. But COVID, by truth, it actually transformed. It, it, it brought us a dynamic where we did not know what we are dealing with. And why data? And, and for me, digital transformation means access to information. Why that is important is, especially in uncertain times, the quickest way to pivot or the quickest way to create value or the quickest way to give value to your customers is if you understand it. And this is not based on bets, or imaginary bets or gambles. It's actual information that has been analyzed that points in terms of what do I need to do to grow my revenue? What do I need to do to impact the, my operating environment? A good example as to the role that digital transformation would play. As we sit today, I must tell you the ministry has undergone through perhaps 10 years of leapfrogging in the past two years. A lot of changes have happened in the Ministry of Health, enshrined in policy and legislation. We all have an e-health policy that you all may be familiar with right now. We're in the process of trying to finalize our e-health bill um, that will most likely um, be finalized in the next sitting of parliament. We're in spaces where we've looked at our procurement mechanisms, we looked at our strategies in how we procure commodities, how we strengthen supply chains. And so I must say, in terms of moving forward and leapfrogging from the COVID-19 pandemic, we've done well.